climate is cyclical, like just about anything else in the entire universe. You stick around long enough, and you'll experience it again. Well, let me explain what I mean. Each year has four seasons. I don't think anybody would argue that fact, except maybe around the equator, where the seasons just don't vary all that much. Every year we get these four seasons that happen right on schedule. They always have, and they always will. These are cycles, just like the tides. Now, tides are created by the moon and the sun every 12 and a half hours. Some cycles are stronger when the moon and sun are aligned in a row. You get double the gravity. We call these spring tides, and they happen twice a month. But what if the seasons were similar? What if there were larger and longer length seasons that cycled every 25 years? And even larger, stronger ones every 100 years? Dr. Raymond Wheeler discovered, in fact, that there are. Now, Dr. Wheeler spent his entire life analyzing weather cycles back over 20 centuries, back to 600 BC. He found that major climate cycles changed every 25, 100, 500, and 1,000 years, and that they're fractal, which means that there are smaller cycles within larger cycles. You can see how these are like waves, more specifically, like sine waves. These cycles influence just about everything that happens on Earth. Here are the four 25-year cycles. Spring, warm and wet. Summer, warm and dry. Fall, cool and wet. And winter, cold and dry. Just like regular seasons. We've had about 25 years of very warm weather, from about 1980 to 2000. However, the period before that was quite cool. In fact, there were articles in all the major newspapers predicting a mini ice age. Lots of articles. And you're likely to see those again. So let's look a little bit closer at this past century. The Roaring Twenties were mostly wet and warm. It was a very prosperous time. But in 1929, it got very cold. The mercury plunged. Cold and dry has always led to tough economic times. All through history. And the stock market crashed. Then the next year, 1930, was the driest year in over 150 years. It ushered in 10 straight years of dry and hot, about the hottest on record. And, of course, we had the Great Depression. Hot and dry weather in history has led to major wars, despotism, dictators, socialism, communism, and guess what? Adolf Hitler, World War II, not a pretty picture. In the mid-1940s, it turned cool and wet, the economy picked up, and the war ended. Now that lasted through to the 60s. We had the Beatles, love and flowers, hey, great times. But in the late 60s, we turned cold and dry, and that led to a very deep recession that lasted through the late 1970s. And that's when we saw all those newspaper articles warning about the coming ice age. But then it turned warm again. The stock market turned up, and business started to boom. It was a warm, wet spring cycle once again. Prosperity. And that lasted through the 90s. And then it started to get dry again. These climate cycles happen so regularly that in the 1940s, Dr. Wheeler predicted a change in the climate just before the year 2000. He did this with his drought clock. And sure enough, in 1998, the temperature started to cool and we've been getting cooler and drier ever since. Here's a chart of the temperature in the last 20 years or so. Flat. And starting to get cooler. And we all know how dry it is. I mean, look at California. He also predicted extreme weather in the early 21st century because we're at the end of an even larger 500-year cycle. Two major climate cycles are colliding right now. And that leads to extreme weather. We've been moving from a warm, dry climate generally to a cold and dry climate. So, global warmers... You want cooler weather? Well, now, careful what you wish for, because it means really tough times economically. In fact, we're heading into a depression, just like we have so many times before, all through history. Cool and dry is winter. It means civil wars, revolution, migration, riots, class struggles between rich and poor, societal changes. Ring a bell? It's always meant that kind of change all through history. But the good news is that if you're prepared, it's a fabulous time to be alive. Great opportunities came from the 1930s, and they'll come from the next 10 years. We'll have a revolution around the world, but end up with much more democracy, 
romance, a simpler lifestyle, we'd all like that, and change for the better we can't even imagine. Climate is cyclical. Don't like the weather? Wait a few decades. <laughs> and while you're waiting, read some history books.